All right, how's it going, lads? Uh, I have this um, NU NU battle today. Uh, this is on showdown, so you know it's gonna be not as presentable, you could say, as a Wi-Fi battle would be. But at least I can record this screen. Uh, I don't have any sort of or Air Four card for a DS, so. Anyways, on my team I have Sandstrew, Bayleaf, Mag Cargo, Cricketune, Butterfree, and Zeb Striker. Uh, on his team he has a, a Guard of War, a um, Saw's Book, a Milk Tank, Torco, Floatzel, and Charizard. Now, when you look at his team, there are definitely, you know, there's definitely one Pokemon in particular that can really threaten my team and that's the Charizard like he can his super effective hits on Butterfree um, Cricketune Bayleaf and he can do very high damage on Sandshrew because Sandshrew is uh, physically defensive and if he if he just happens to be mixed he can also have an earthquake and Oko, Boat, Mad Cargo and Sip Striker so Charizard is the real threat here so, this is the Pokemon I'm looking out for. So, so getting on with the battle here. Um, he leads off with Torkoal. I lead off with Sip Strike. I go for the Thunderbolt, uh, guessing that he was going for the rocks. That was a bit of a risky play. He could have had the Earth Power. Uh, he probably did have the Earth Power, but uh, I got high damage on him. He doesn't want to lose his Torkoal yet because, you know, the chance that I could set up rocks later on. And I can actually even rapid spin them away. So with Sandshrew. So I go into my Bayleaf to take any sort of psychic or special attack. Uh Bayleaf is a special wall. Don't underestimate Bayleaf. I go for Leech Seed, but he predicts that and goes in the Saw's book. Really, that was very stupid of me. I should have known Saw's book was there. And he goes for a sword stance, which was like oh, no. <laughs> He's gonna fucking sweep me. And I was like, I was completely shitting it. Uh, try going with the quick cricketer and hopefully, you know, get a bug bite on him, but not gonna happen. Go to Mag Cargo, maybe he doesn't have the earthquake, maybe he just has Horn Leech and uh, Return, but now he has the nature power, which is earthquake. And I go into Seb Strike, and really I should have done this from the beginning and go for an overheat, but oh well. He goes on chairs I heard and obviously I'm specs, so I really do have to switch out. Uh go on the butter free and sack me butter free. Uh it's really looking like it's game over. It's my, my Bayleaf versus Seb Strike. It's my Bayleaf and Seb Strike versus his five Pokemon. So it looks very dire at the moment for my team. So he goes so I go into Seb Strike on the Charizard, he fears the Thunderbolt and goes into his Gardevoir. I really should have just went for more Thunderbolts as he just decides to go for some wishes. Um I would have KO'd the Guard of War and that would have been that, but unfortunately that's not the case. Uh the Guard of War traced my Sep Strikers uh Sep Stepper, so unfortunately I do not get any sort of benefits from Leech Seed. I completely forgot about that. Um, he goes to Charizard, I predict his switch to Charizard and go into Zip Striker and I do very well towards the end, like you know, I'm 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 trying to hang on as much as I can. Try to actually keep this battle long. Um as long as possible. Um he goes for the psychic, uh I go into Bayleaf. He should have really went for a psychic again because I think he really could have KO'd me. I go into Zip Striker because I didn't want to lose my Bayleaf ended up benefiting me because you know he switched out the chairs out I, I just know the guy of war is now coming so I go for the signal beam he gets confused very f uh, go for another signal beam he hurts himself in confusion that was very vital as you can see you will see later on Um, if because the guy of war would have got psychic off and he would have done heavy damage so I go into my floatzel I mean, my bay leaf to sack it, and uh, so from here I need to go. I start going into Seb Striker, and from here I start going for 
Thunderbolts and you know I have to be flow so I'm gonna KO that. Goes in milk tank, this the vital pair, I thunderbolt him and he lives and I'm like no he's gonna kill me with body slam and he goes for a seismic toss for a seismic toss and I'm like yes four percent health if that Gardevoir actually didn't get confused and hit me with a psychic even if I lived I would not have lived the milk tank so really close game very good game thanks for the good battle bye